Hi guys, um, usually I do vlogs about booktubing, but um, this time I wanted to do a little something different. This is a different type of vlog, and this is a current events or world news kind of vlog that I just had to address. This. I don't know how many of you are aware of the whole horse meat fiasco that's been going on in the UK. Um, I've tried to tweet it a couple of times, different stories, um, a plant and Poland was pr producing meat for uh, Burger King in the UK and they did DNA testing and found out that there was horse DNA but Burger King claimed that it was never served to the public which I find to be total bullshit I think it, they probably knew it was being served to the public and they just now got caught so now they're gonna like lie their asses off and say they didn't know it was being served to the public or that it never was served to the public and now there's this other company with the lasagnas and they're finding that there's horse meat in them well this go just goes to show you how you cannot trust you know everything you think you know um, and this this is another reason why I'm, I'm saying this because back in 2011 um, o President Obama okayed some bill saying that you could hor you could um you know kill and use horses for meat here in the states so like when i first read about that i kind of thought well yeah that's fine i guess as long as you know if people i guess if people want to eat horse meat they can so that's fine and dandy for those people but just as long as you know like it's labeled you know that it's horse meat so it's not being consumed by you know people unawares of it. I mentioned this whole bill that Obama signed because I just kind of want people to think, you know, don't think that it's probably just in the UK that this is happening. They're probably using horse meat and products here in the States and in Canada and saying that it's 100% beef. I mean, think back to what Taco Bell did. I mean, I'd rather eat Taco Bell's fucking beef over, you know, horse meat. Because, I mean, even though it's got soy flour and it, soy flour is better than eating horse meat, but it just goes to show you, you do not know that what you are eating is 100% what they say it is. And with the economy being the way it is, they could be slipping stuff into your food and labeling it as something else, saying it's 100% black Angus beef and it's really you know, the horse that lost the last fucking race that you're chowing down on. I mean, I, I, I can't even eat beef now unless, you know, like, I know that it's 100% beef. Um, I was reading comments on some of these news articles I found online about the horse meat, and there were people actually defending it, saying that, well, if it's ground up, you wouldn't even know the difference, that it tastes just like beef. I'm not a vegetarian. I love meat. Um, I am a carnivore. I love to eat meat. I get physically sick if I don't eat meat. But um, I draw the line at eating horses. I have a lot of respect for the animal because it's not a slow moving, you know, it's not an animal that's meant to be cut down and like killed for food because they are a fast running animal. Um, not only that, but they're a companion animal too. I just, I just don't think it's right to be eating horses. I know that in some cultures, they do think it's okay to eat horses, but that's fine for them. Don't try to fucking put horse meat into my food and try to tell me it's beef. I mean, this is why I think that people should demand of their government to make laws stating that things should be labeled and if it's got horse meat in it then it should be labeled it has horse meat in it what are your guys' thoughts on this I mean I just I wanted to throw this out there because I think a lot of people some people may not even be aware of the situation um, look it up on Google um, I tried to look up to see if there are any plants like you know in the US that are processing horse meat and I couldn't come up with too many results. I just came up with a few things saying that Obama made it so that it was okay that you could do it here. 
and they're saying that most of the horse meat that's being processed here in the states is going overseas supposedly that's what they're saying anyways so yes this isn't a book tubing video um, of course like all my videos I will title it a certain way and have a thumbnail so you'll know that hey this isn't a book tubing thing but I want to know what your guys' thoughts are on this. Do you think it's cool that they're putting horse meat in people's food and not telling them? I think they need to do something about it. I think they need to make some laws saying that they have to label, like, what's in your food. Like, even when it comes to GMOs, too, they've got to do something. Because people need, they have the right to know if they're buying a product. They have the right to know what they're buying and consuming. So that's all I got, guys. I just had to say this. I had, I had to. I, I, I can't even eat beef now. I, I am never going to Burger King again. <laughs> I mean, even though it was in UK, I still don't trust Burger King. Later, guys. I've got proof. They need proof. I've seen it. I've seen it happening. They've got to tell people. Tell them what? The ocean's dying. The plankton's dying. <laughs> it's people. Soylent Green is made out of people. They're making our food out of people. Next thing, they'll be breeding us like cattle for food. You gotta tell them. You gotta tell them. I promise, Tiger. I promise. I'll tell the exchange. You tell everybody. Listen to me, Hatcher. You gotta tell them. Silent Green is people. We gotta stop them somehow.